Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Anthony with Duke City Aquariums and today is very, very exciting. I just got this in the mail. Postman just dropped it off. As you can see, live fish. I picked up a box from Imperial Tropicals. Like many of you know, I mentioned in my previous video that I'm going to be adding a few more African cichlids to my Lake Malawi Aquarium. Um, so we're going to be doing that today. So stick around. Alrighty, so like I said today, we're going to be focusing on just the 75 gallon African cichlid aquarium. We're going to be adding the new fish, but really quickly, I do want to kind of point to the aquarium right behind me. This is the 90 gallon um, uh, flower horn aquarium. I did mention that I was going to pick up a few more of the fake plants that I got from elite cichlids. I put some in the 75 gallon. Turns out I liked them so much that I bought some for the 90 gallon, and I think they look very, very good. Um, no complaints to them so far. Great quality. I will leave a link in the description down below so you can go check out Elite Cichlids if you want to. And you can go check out some of these plants for yourselves. I'll also leave a link to where I got the fish. Um, they are from uh, imperialtropicals.com. But without further ado, let's go ahead and pop this box open. So I, I decided to go with four, four fish. And uh, the four fish are... Let's see if I can remember what I picked up. I picked up um, a ruby, a ruby peacock. That one's gonna be the largest one that I got. I also picked up a uh, a dragon blood. Imperial Tropicals has a, a line of dragon bloods that they, uh, they breed. They come out with black pigmentation spots on them, which I think is really cool. Um, I already have a normal dragon blood in there already. So I think having a larger one with the black spots on it is going to look kind of cool. Um, also, I did pick up uh, in that aquarium, I do have three Mbunas, as many of you know. Uh, one of them is a yellow lab, which happens to be my favorite African cichlid. So I decided actually to pick up one more yellow lab. So I got another yellow lab in here. And then I also got a blue, I think they're called like flame tails or something, peacocks. It's a, it's a blue body with red on the tail. So... I'm excited for that. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this popped open and show you each one of the fish and then we'll get you some footage of them in the tank. All right. So here we go. All right. So the very first one, this is the ruby red. Let's see if we can see him there. He's huge. He's humongous. He looks very, very cool. So let's go ahead and set him to the side for now. I'll leave him right here. All right, what else we have in here? We have this one is the, the dragon blood with the black spots on it. Here he is here. It's a little bit tough to see. He does have a, have a really cool black dot right up on his head. That looks pretty neat. Get out of the way so he can focus. <laughs> All right, there's a dragon blood. Let's see. There should be two more bags in here. Lots of insulation. I've ordered fish from Imperial Tropicals before many times. I've actually got quite a few fish from there. Mike and those guys, they're awesome, awesome people. I tune into the live stream every Friday. Great company. Um, and they do a very good job on packaging fish, okay? Um, here's my yellow lab. There's a new new yellow lab. And uh, keep in mind that all these fish are males because this is an all-male uh, African cichlid aquarium. Let's see. There should be one more. Let's see, we got one, two, three. Uh-oh. Maybe it looks like... Uh, yeah, it looks like there's just three in here. I'll have to shoot him an email and see maybe the other one is is uh, in transit or something like that. But so I guess for today, uh, we're just looking at three. All right. I'm going to place these back in here in the insulation. All right, so I'm going to get these bags rinsed off, get all the insulation off of them. I'm going to float them in the tank and get them acclimated about 20 minutes, and then we'll go ahead and pop them in. All right, stay tuned. Thank you. 
Alrighty guys, so there you have it. There was a quick little video of just me adding uh, some more fish to my 75 gallon aquarium. Um, like, like, like I said before, I really love Imperial Tropicals. They're one of my favorite place, uh, places to order fish online. Um, and I'm definitely going to order from them again in the future. However, uh, it wouldn't be right for me not to call out a couple of things that I noticed with this order. Um, the, the first thing was, well, I, I'm missing a fish and I don't know where it is or, or anything. I didn't, I didn't get any emails or anything telling me where that fourth fish is. Um, so, uh, I'll be sending them an email, seeing what's going on there. Um, and then with the fish that I did receive, I ordered, so this is exactly what I ordered. I ordered a, um, or whatever the ad said, a five inch dominant male for the Ruby. I ordered a three inch male for the yellow lab, a four inch male for the dragon blood. And, uh, as you see from the footage, the, the dragon blood, first of all, he's probably two, two inches, maybe two and a half at the most. He's very, very tiny. Um, and I, I ordered and paid for a four inch male. So that was, that's pretty disappointing. Um, the yellow lab, the same thing. I ordered a three inch male. It, he's two inches at the most. He's very, very small. And I honestly, it, to me, it looks suspiciously, suspiciously like, like a female. Um, so we'll have to see how that plays out. So with those two fish, I'm a little bit disappointed. I definitely don't feel like I got my money's worth considering how much I paid for all of these fish. Um, and then the, the Ruby, the five inch male, um, he, he look, he's the exact same size as some four inch males that I've ordered before. So I ordered a five inch dominant male, right? That's like the highest, the highest, uh, like priced fish you can get. Uh, when it comes to the peacocks on that on that site and um, for a five inch dominant male I don't feel like he's five inches at all he looks like he's four to, to be honest um, but but I mean despite all that the fish are really cool um, they do have good colors and stuff they're gonna fit in pretty good um, as soon as I, I added them you know the other fish started kind of going crazy checking out the new guys and stuff but uh, we'll just see how it plays out but anyway um, despite all that, you know, um, it definitely wasn't the best order from Imperial Tropicals that I've ever had, but, um, but it's okay. I'm still, like I said, going to be ordering from them again in the future. And as soon as I get, uh, get word on where that fourth fish fish is, um, I'll definitely keep you guys updated. But anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Go ahead and uh, subscribe if you haven't. Trigger the bell so you, get all, so you always get notified when I release a new video. But anyway, that will wrap it up for me today, guys. I thank you so much for watching. My name is Anthony with Duke City Aquariums, and we'll catch you in the next one.